Cervical cancer is a cancer of the cervix, which is the bottom of the uterus. It's the part that dilates when you're having a baby. The main symptoms of cervical cancer include abnormal bleeding, and by that I mean spotting that has nothing to do with your period, maybe bleeding after sex. Some of the risk factors for cervical cancer include smoking, having multiple sexual partners, and being immunocompromised. HPV causes most cervical cancers. HPV is human papillomavirus, and it's essentially a sexually transmitted condition. Um, when, when somebody gets HPV, lots of times the immune system makes it go away, but sometimes it persists. And when it persists, it can get into cells and cause changes, which eventually can turn into cancer. Cervical cancer can be prevented. We have a wonderful tool to prevent cervical cancer, the HPV vaccine. Getting the HPV vaccine before sexual debut, that is before one has ever had sex, can prevent cervical cancer. We also have great screening for cervical cancer, so that's also a form of prevention. Cervical cancer screening now consists of both the pap smear and HPV testing. In the future, it may consist of HPV testing alone. But when we use these two, we screen at different intervals, often depending on age and results of your screening. The important thing about screening is not only to get the screening test, but to follow up appropriately. How often you need to be screened depends on your age and the results of your screening test. Most people actually do not need to be screened every year. The treatment options for cervical cancer have changed a lot over the past several years. If somebody has cervical cancer and it's early, lots of times they can be treated with a procedure called a cone biopsy that, that doesn't even remove the whole cervix, but just removes the cancer. If somebody has early cervical cancer, it can oftentimes be treated surgically. If cancer is more advanced, there may be a need for radiation. Um, even more advanced chemotherapy. With cervical cancer, there's often a lot of different components to care, and it's important to be treated by a gynecologic oncologist because you need somebody who understands cervical cancer who can coordinate all of this care. So it's crucial that a gynecologic oncologist takes on this role for you. Everyone with cancer is different and requires a different treatment plan. Here at Mount Sinai, we have experienced specialists and a multidisciplinary team, and we all work together to provide the very best care for our patients.